is the Daily Devotional for May 29th. A wonderful topic for today, Victory Through Jesus. Paul writes in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, The sting of death is sin, and the power of sin is the law. But thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. I have spoken those words at hundreds of grave sides as I've done funerals for members of our congregation and stood by the grave side while the body is about to be buried in the ground and we confess the sure hope that we have the victory over death through our Lord Jesus Christ. In his resurrection, our bodies too will be raised. And in that we rejoice and have hope and peace. And John echoes those thoughts in his first epistle, chapter 5. For this is the love of God that we keep his commandments. And his commandments are not burdensome. For everyone who has been born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that overcomes the world, our faith. Who is it that over overcomes the world? Except the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God. So Christ has the victory over death in his resurrection, and through faith in him, we have the victory through our faith in Jesus, the Son of God. We live in that victory each and every day, despite the ups and downs of the lives that we lead here on earth. So let us pray. Guard your people, O Lord, and grant us unity of faith and singleness of heart as we come to you in prayer. Lord, you have power over all things and appoint an order on earth for the protection of the weak, the punishment of evildoers, and the encouragement of virtue. Bless our president, our governor, and all who make, administer, and judge our laws. Give them wisdom for the challenges of our times and preserve them from self-serving concerns. Grant us grace that we may honor the gift of liberty and be good citizens and neighbors to all. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, you have compassion upon all who suffer. Give grace to the sick, to those with mental illness, to the dying in their last hours, and to those who grieve. Hear us especially for those we name in our hearts before you. Grant them patience in their afflictions. Deliver them according to your gracious will. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, you have daily and richly supplied, supplied us with all things for this body and life. Give us grateful hearts that we may receive your gifts with thanksgiving and bring to you our tithes and offerings. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. All these things and whatever else we need, we ask you to grant us for the sake of Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Whatever happens today, have this assurance. You have the final victory in our Lord Jesus Christ. To him be all glory forever. Amen.